Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Rocking Realities. Today's guest is the lead singer of Tigers and Penting and Saint Sinners, Czech, who talked to us about everything from how he started in music, the new Saint Sinners album, about whiskey, about rock and roll, about winning the new wave of British Heavy Metal Award, and so much more. But the best way to find out what we actually talked about is of course, listening to the interview. So I hope you enjoy the show. And if you did, let me know. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and send me a message there uh, or comment on the video below. And of course, subscribe to your channel so you won't miss any new interviews. But until then, enjoy the show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, Jack? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's it's a holiday today. It's bank holiday here in Italy, uh, so it's good. But I, I, as you can see, I had to work. So, <laughs> but Why'd it was you... perfect, perfect timing for me. When you when you said that you would you could you would be able to do it in the morning, I would be perfect because it's it's harder for me to get to get some uh, you know free time in the afternoon or or otherwise I have to do it late at night. Because that's that's when I, I I can do it. So, but in the morning I'm I'm almost free in the morning, so that's perfect. And yeah. uh, here we are. Yeah, that's awesome. You're in Italy, right? Yes, I'm in Italy. Yeah, Florence. Yeah. Is it still warm in Italy because it's freezing? No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's uh, no, it's it's raining and it's raining and it's cold. It's been it's been you know no, there's no the uh, there's no, there's no sunshine anymore here in Italy for for the, at least for the next the last couple of days and uh, it will be like it will be cold not as cold as as other places in europe but it, it is cold yeah <laughs> where, where, where 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 are you based we're in bavaria so okay. south of germany <laughs> okay yeah so um you know when we start our interviews you usually go back a bit and our first question usually is it's pretty much always the same because we're always interested in how did you get into music like okay when did you have the decision okay i want to be a musician this is what i want to do with my life <laughs> okay <laughs> tough question how many minutes do i have <laughs> you can talk well, as long well, as you want <laughs> uh, 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 let's say this my my um my first really first band was way back in 1983 something like 82 83 and the good thing about that, the good thing about the band is that actually, uh, out of four musicians, three of them, me, the guitar player, and the, and the drummer, are still playing. So it meant that you know we we we, we were very 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 into music, uh, and uh, we wanted to to continue. And um, so it, it goes really back in time. And the, the main reason I, 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 I it's, it's a funny thing, but the main reason why I started, I was, you know, I started singing was basically because I was the one who had, who knew English better than anybody else. And we wanted to play English, English songs and American songs. And um, I was one of the few guys who was into music and had the scores and the lyrics the, the lyrics of most of the songs that we wanted to play and i and and i didn't i didn't know how to play any any instrument so basically i was you know dragged into the band saying you speak english you have the lyrics uh just give it a, you know give it a go and try to sing and that that was my beginning with the first band and since then i i have been in, a, in at least one band since then so i never stop i never stopped singing and i never stopped playing and uh, it's been a roller coaster ride because obviously I, I've, I've been in many bands and I and I'm right now in a lot of you know different projects, but uh, I never had a doubt that music would have been you know part a big part of my life. Uh, obviously, I I I decided to 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 become like a full time musician like I am now. Oh, uh, now it's about. It, well, I was was early early 2000 2003 2004 because um, before that I, I I'm, I've been playing in bands I've been recording I've been I've been uh, you know I, I'm you know doing covers and doing original stuff but I had a like a full time job I had my own company and uh, due to and I was working with America uh, and but due to the you know 9 11 and all all, all that happened after 9 11. 
my by being my i had to make the decision and uh, so i had to close my company and at that point instead of finding another job i said uh, why don't i give music meaning I've, music has been with me and i've been you know very passionate about music uh, since since i was you know, a teenager so i said why don't i give it a try and uh, and just put music as my main you know my main uh, my main job and that that was the beginning meaning it took it took a while it took a while it's still it's still it's still not 100 being a musician means that you don't know what what's going to happen especially after these last two years you don't know what's gonna you know you have it's all about you know planning a lot because uh there's there's no way you can you can you know, make a living with just one band so you need to have different projects and you need to also kind of conceive think about music as a as something a bit wider than just playing and performing so for me it's like um, I'm, I'm um i teach singing and uh, and i teach singing privately doing private lessons and uh, i teach in two schools here in florence so that's and that's that was saved my that is what saved my life in the last two years with covid because obviously there was no big no big chance to play live and uh, thank god I could still teach. That was it, and um, so it's it's been a ro- as I said, it's been a roller coaster ride. I mean, it's, it's been part of my life since I was. Uh, I'm fi- I'm I'm 53, and I and I started when I was uh, 15 years old. So it's a, it's it's a long it's a long time. It's a long time. But I never had a doubt. I mean, I never thought I would you know I would quit singing and recording and playing music. I, I can't I can't imagine myself without. Uh, without playing, basically, and, th- and this what ma- and this is what made this last two years really, really tough because I miss a lot gigging live. Yeah, I think we all do. Yeah, <laughs> we all miss live shows. And and the problem is that no matter what, meaning uh, it, it, due to due to how how the whole pandemic is the, is a, it has been evolving and is and is evolving right now there's no way we can plan and that's that's one of the worst thing for a musician because i i was one of the one of the the uh, proof that you're doing right is that you can you know when you when you when you start when you, at the beginning you have like short term plans, so meaning I, I, I gig next month and then uh, actually I gigs next week, then you gig next month, then you start shed, scheduling like a couple of three months ahead. And uh, when, it, when, it, when it comes down to scheduling like a, year, like a whole year ahead, it means that you're doing good because it means that you keep constantly working, meaning you have different projects live pro- and you have live shows and tours and everything. And this is what has completely disappeared with COVID because you can't plan. Meaning, if even if you plan, you have to reschedule because, uh, like um, with Sainted Sinners, we we had eight eight gigs and uh, and then out of eight gigs, they we did only two, and not because of us, but because you know restriction, uh, venue closes, two uh, G, three G in Germany and and uh, and the restriction in traveling and things like that so that's that's makes that really makes it hard really makes it hard yeah it's really tough right now for musicians and everyone else working in the music yes. business who's especially those who work with live shows like tour managers and promoters and everyone it's really tough on them right now yeah yeah really tough really tough because it and and and, and I I'm, I can't, I hope, I really hope, I really hope that, you know, it, it, uh, um, it, it will be just from, from spring 2022, things will be, will, you know, go back to a look. I will not, I will not say normality, but almost normality. But I fear that, you know, the first, the first uh, months of 2022 will be as tough as the, as the, as the, as the last year. So that's it, but that's it. Yeah, but we have to keep a positive mindset. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But, but well, I, I keep recording. That's that's meaning. Uh, 
the, 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 the best example is it's Saint Tetsina. It's meaning the minute we realized that uh, after we, we had released the, uh, the first album I was working with, uh, you know, I recorded with them, which was um, last year, which um, Unlock and Reloaded, we, we, we realized immediately that there was no chance to do tours and to promote it. So we, we all looked at each other and we said, okay, let's do another album. That's okay. And, you know, use technology. We're all based in different countries. Um, but we, we just said, you know, we can't tour, we can't meet, but we, why don't we try and write, you know, another bunch of songs? And that's what we did. And we, we actually record, we actually demoed, uh, um, written, demoed and recorded everything, uh, Within within uh, the, the the first part of the of this year and got it released now meaning two weeks ago two weeks ago one week ago one week ago that's it that's the only thing we can do as far as far as we can write songs that, that that's the that's the positive thing about about and I'm I'm lucky enough that you know uh, creativity hasn't been you know uh, uh, hasn't stopped due to COVID so. I can write, and uh, and uh, and if somebody send give sends me a good riff, and Frank does send me a good riff, just like you know, and I'm fine. I can write, I, can, I you know, I can I can work on that riff and you know develop a melody and and write a song, and that and that makes my day. Meaning that at least I know that curing, you know, I, I can't play live, but I can you know I can sit down on the computer and I can. I mean, maybe my neighbors are not th that very happy about about me singing <laughs> 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 a different time a day. But so far, I got no, no, nobody argued too much, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. So now that we're already talking about the Saint Sinners, how did you join the band? You joined them last year, right? I joined the band. I it was yes. It was. Uh, it, it was. Uh, well. Um, I, I I knew Frank, before, you know I met Frank before, and, but I didn't. Uh, but I, I was I wasn't absolutely familiar to 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 to, to you know to the, um, to the fact that they Saint Exina had recorded two albums previously with David Reese and anything. But when it came down to COVID, when it when, when the first lockdown happened and I was stuck at home, um, Michael McChrystal, who is now unfortunately the ex guitar player from Tigers. Uh, called me and said that Frank was that he was talking with Frank, and Frank was looking was uh, wanted to resurrect Sainted Sinners, and he was looking for a singer. And he and uh, and he actually asked Mike, Mickey, Michael, if I uh, if I would be you know interested in trying to to record something and like do some demos. And I said, yeah, yeah. I'm meaning I was I was literally stuck in the house. I, I could just give in, in the early, you know, the, it was like March, Fe, March, April 2020. So you were not allowed to go anywhere. Um, say, except for going, you know, you had to go to the supermarket. I, I, you know, we were all becoming like old men and old ladies going to the supermarket and, and, and you know, being very happy to go to the supermarket because that was, was the only thing we could do. And um, so what, and so I got in touch with Frank. Frank sent me two demos. And um, uh, I really liked what I heard, and I and I started immediately, you know, writing uh, writing some melodies and some um, and some stuff, and I sent it back and said, "What do you think?" And that was the beginning. Meaning, when the two songs, uh, the two songs that he sent me was one was "Standing on Top" and one was "Free to Be," if I well remember, and "Standing on Top." It, has become the first single so uh, it was definitely it, it was definitely working so frank was was really you know felt really i felt really comfortable with, you know writing with frank and frank felt really comfortable playing you know working with me and uh, that made it easy really easy it was it, it was no it was very it was a very you know fast and furious process we and we keep, you know, sending each other's ideas and demos, and um, and then I, I recorded the album in Flo. I recorded my vocals in Florence in uh, in August, in August uh, 2020, and it was released. I think it was really. I think it was released like you know last year this week, something like that. And we were hoping to do some gigs in, in in November and December, which didn't happen. Then we rescheduled them for April, and it didn't happen. And 
and, and by, by Mar like February, March of this year, so we started thinking about, okay, let's, you know, record a new album. Let's, let's forget about everything. Let's do another album. Who cares? And that's it. And that's where Taste It came out. Yeah. Um, uh, you're also at the uh, new record label, uh, Rock of Angels Records. Yes. Uh, how did that get along? Well, um, I mean, well the, the, the right the right person to ask which should would be Frank. But basically, um, um, Saint Etienne Saint was signed to El Puerto Records, and uh, Unlock and Reloaded was their last, you know, album uh, committed to that label. And so, and I and I guess I, I know from we know well Frank got a you know got got a call from Rock of Angels, uh, and uh, saying that they were quite you know they were interested in uh, in having us and, uh, and um, it it took us a while to decide because obviously uh, and uh, as i said last decision was taken by by i think frank is the leader of the band so he has to take the last decision. He, he has the last word and um and um well i i, I personally my relation with El Puerto has been very, really, really, really good. But what happened is that um, Rock of Angels has um, has showed, like, um, how can I say, uh, a more substantial uh, um, uh, interest in meaning that they were, you know, willing to to invest a bit more energies and a bit more money on videos and uh, and promoting us also on um, on the digital side of it of, of the of the of the best uh, of, of music which is now the main one of the main uh, elements to to for um, for a band to you know to get promoted so uh, and uh, we we were not that good on Spotify and, and you know Deezer and Apple Music and um, Rock of Angels has you know has proved us meaning we we, we have you know, more than not, not even double we like triplicate our uh, streaming and uh, and uh, our you know um, our results on uh, on spotify since the release of the singles and of the album so that that was mainly the, the that was mainly a reason it, it felt like um, it felt like rock of angels was more into uh the, this what is the new way now of promoting albums which is by D, by streaming and by uh, you know digital platforms, which I'm not familiar to because, as you can see behind me, um, I still buy records and I still buy CDs. And there's uh, this this side is CDs, the other side of the room is is vinyl. So I, I'm old fashioned, but uh, it, it seems to be uh, being also a teacher. I know that a lot lot you know a lot of my students don't don't buy records. Just they just you know just listen on Spotify. And uh, and we wanted to have we wanted to, we wanted to give Sainted Sinners a, a good chance of being you know being promoted and being exposed so that people can listen to our music and that so that that I, th I guess that that is what made us uh, move to the new label and so far it's been really good they've been very very supportive we got a we got a, now a vinyl coming out the vinyl version of Stay State is going to be out on. Uh, uh, next year in February, so and uh, so the the CDs has been released the last week, and uh, the vinyl is going to be released in February in February 2022, and it's going to be like uh, it's going to be like a limited edition, which uh, like a whiskey marble kind of stuff, which looks pretty cool on photo. I wish I could show you to you, but I don't have it yet. Otherwise, I would be here promoting. Here's the here's the vinyl. Buy it. <laughs> And that's it. Yeah, so it's good. Rock of Angels is doing a really, really good job with us, and uh, we're very happy. We're very happy, and uh, there's some good. I hope there's some good news. I mean, already uh, if, if everything works, that we're going to play some some big festival next year's, and uh, also thanks to the connection that Rock of Angels has. So happy. Yeah, you're actually playing not far from us next year. At, uh... The, the Metal Good. is Forever Festival. That's not that exactly. Far from us. Which is in, is it is it, is it is it September, right? I think it's September. It's like the, yeah. the that, first that, or that, second that, weekend that, of you, September. You, you, more, you, you know you know more things than me, but that was <laughs> that was the festival. That was the festival. So and I'm looking forward because I, I never. I'm meaning I, I played. Um, 
I never played in Bulgaria. Uh, I played, um, uh, what is it, um, Czech Republic, and that, that, that's as, and, and Greece and Czech Republic, so that's my Far East uh, <laughs> European, you know, East, East European countries that I've been, I've been visiting. Now, with, with Tigers, we went to Japan uh, a couple of years ago, and that, that was it. So I'm looking forward to play, to play uh, yeah. next year. Some places I've never been. I'm curious. So. I heard good things about about you know Bulgarian audience. So, so <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. So, um, do you have like a personal favorite song on the new album? Well, uh, right. This, uh, well, it, it changes. It changes uh, from you know from. That. There's a couple of songs that are that. Um, that I really, that I particularly like. There's, um, uh, and it, you know, when it comes down, when it comes down to song, it's difficult to to pick up one one particular. Um, there's the, mainly the the two songs that I really like. Uh, if I have to go to, ex you know, you have to have to be, you know, go to extremes. There's two songs I particularly like. One is the essence of rock and roll, and the reason why I like I like that song very much is that because uh, because of the lyrics I wrote. And it's because I, I, it's about, it's about missing playing live. It's about all of a sudden realizing that all the hassle that it's behind, that it's behind traveling and, you know, and uh, sometimes losing luggage and sometimes, you know, long journeys that where you start at three o'clock in the morning, take a bus, take a train, take, take a train, then take a plane, then take another train and things like that. And it's something that when you do it, you, you kind of, you kind of, you don't, when you stop doing it, you're missing it because uh, I, I miss the traveling. I miss the traveling a lot. I miss the, the fact that I, I love being on a bus and on the road. I love, um, um, uh, for many, for a lot of musicians, I know it's very, for sometimes it's very, you know, it's for, it's not boring, but it, it's, uh, it's a bit frustrating because uh, they miss home, they miss, you know, and they miss family and everything. In my case, Uh, no, no disrespect to my girlfriend, no disrespect to anybody. But when I'm on the road, I'm, I'm really, I really feel at home. I like being on the bus. I like, um, I, I, I think, I think the, my, my it, it's like all of a sudden my day makes sense because it's all devoted to music. It's all, and, I, and, and it's all focused to the gig. So no matter what happens during the day, you have to save all your energy and everything is, is related to the fact that you have, at some point on, in that day, you have to go on stage and do your performance. And that's what I like. It, it, it kind of makes, makes sense to me. So that song is about, is about, is about missing and trying to be... And uh, what I like about the song is that uh, it's not... Obviously, it, it, it's... it's um, How it, how the song came out? It's not like a, like a, a sad song, saying I'm missing the playing. It's like I can't wait to play again, and all of a sudden, uh, and all of a sudden, I realize how I miss, you know, the fact that I'm not rehearsing. How I miss the fact that I'm not, you know, I'm not with the with the with the with the, with the, with the musicians and and my and, and no, no, the, the members of the band and things like that. So that, that's that's a good song, and the other song is the last song, which is called Heart of Stone, and uh, I'm particularly, you know, I'm I'm very proud of that song because uh, it, it was one of the last songs that we we wrote, and um, I I I I wrote the first part. Meaning, um, I, I, that's a special thing about songs. Uh, a minute before, you don't even think about you're writing a new song, and then all of a sudden, you have a new song, and that's what happened with Heart of Stone. Meaning, I, I was, I was, um, I was like, like, a, like a, a normal evening, and uh, and I picked up the guitar, and without even think too much about it, I came up with a chord progression, and uh, I instinctively liked it, and uh, within like a 45 minutes I had a song and uh, so I left it there and the day after I listened I um, you know I you know I sang it again I said first thing I remember the song because sometimes you, you write a song in the evening and then the morning after you don't even you know I wrote a song and um, 
And so I said, okay, it's, 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 no, it's still here in my mind. And um, how about, and so I recorded like a very rough demo version, guitar and vocals. And I sent it to Ernesto, the guitar, the, the keyboard player for Sacred Sinners. And I said, look, I have written this and he, and what do you think? Be, and I say, just be brutally honest. If you say it's, it's, you don't like it, I, there's no problem. And he said, I really like it and I would like to work on it. I can hear, I can hear things and I, um, uh, I think it, it, it will, you know, let me let me work on it. Uh, and so we started working. So he came back, and he came back with the with the orchestral arrangement, and, uh, and you know, ev- you know, everything was like seems to fit perfectly. And then uh, we we both decided to send it to Frank, saying, "Look, we're working on this song. What you think?" And uh, again, uh, Frank with within. You know, I would say two days. He came out with the second part with the with a with a full band arrangement on the of the second part of the song, and we both me and Ernesto were completely blown away because we we thought it was it was going to be like an acoustic piece, the short, and, and then it became this fantastic song with all the dynamics and the things, and uh, and the final result is I remember clearly when when I when the, when the um, Final, the final master came to me. I um, um, uh, I did a, I did a CD. Uh, I did a, a burn a burnt a CD and put it in. I got a, my, um, and I took it in my car, and I started driving to go to go to work, teaching. And, uh, and the first thing, the first song I, sa- I I wanted to hear was like a Heart of Stone. And I put it, and I was like, wow. And uh, I kept I kept listening to this song for the whole travel. I was going back and back. I like it, I like it. And it's something I have to say. It's not that common because when you listen to when it comes down to listening to your own music, you're sometimes you're not you don't feel particularly you know um, comfortable in in listening back to yourself. And so sometimes that there are records that you you you, you remember and you enjoyed every part of it. But then when it came, when it, when the record comes out, it, it, it sometimes it takes it takes well at least it takes me a couple of months before I go back and listen to it because it's been so many so much hard work. In this case, that song is is a song that I always you know from I always want to hear, and uh, so and it's a song that makes me proud. It's a song that means a lot to me, and um, so that's it. So. And it's a. Sh- uh, I know that when it comes down to Spotify, it's the last song on the album. But people, listen, go listen to the <laughs> whole album. Go t- until the end of it and listen to it because it's a good song. That's it. So the essence of rock and roll and Heart of Stones to me are the one, the two songs that I really, that I really, really enjoy, and really, I still meaning something that makes me proud. Both. Uh, on the album cover, there is a St. Tzinnas whiskey bottle. Have you <laughs> ever thought about to bring out the St. Tzinnas whiskey? We are working on it. We're working on it. Frank wants to have absolutely uh, um, um, wants to produce like a limited edition of a uh, whiskey, St. Tzinnas whiskey. So we're working on it. Uh, I know from I know that Frank has been in touch with a couple of whiskey, you know, distillery. And uh, I hope, I hope that there'll be a limited edition. Number. But but the, the, the project is, we're working on it and the pro- we want to do it. We want to do it. It's not, we thought it would have been easier, but it's not that easier. <laughs> if you know <laughs> what I mean. It's, it, it, it takes a little, it, it, it takes, you have to find the right, the right person to, 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 to you know, to propose the, 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 the project and everything. So it's not, because um, what I realize is that, uh, you know, um, Whiskey, whiskey producers and whiskey, especially if they are, you know, small companies that are a bit like musicians, they're very jealous of their own of their own stuff. So they're not, <laughs> they're not very keen on, on sharing secrets and, and, and they're very they're not very uh, open minded, if you know what I mean. So it's a, you know, it's my you know, it's my whiskey. So what, but, but, uh, Frank, Frank is a really great, great guy. And he's. He. Um, one 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 thing that I really like about Frank is that he's uh, it's difficult to find the words in English, but he's a very he's a very empathic person. He gets along. He he, he can he kind of um, 
you, you feel Im immediately comfortable. You, 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 you even though I, I didn't, I met him only before before joining the band a couple of times. The minute I joined the band, the minute I met him, I felt really like I, I've been knowing him for a long time. And that's and that's and that's very special of Frank. He makes you feel comfortable. Makes you feel, you know. Um, uh, he lets you be. He, he allows you to be to, to just be yourself. It, it, so there's no there's no barriers and things like that. And there's no ego, which is great, because you know in bands ego is always <laughs> you know it's it's always there hiding, and sometimes it comes out. But there's no absolutely no ego with Frank. And um, he, he's I really I really appreciate the fact that he he really connect with people so even 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 for the for this whiskey project the minute i heard him say i want to do it i know he's going to do it and i know he's going to find a way to do it and he's going to find the right people and the right company to do it so you'll be the first one if, if the whiskey comes out <laughs> yeah we want a bottle of whiskey <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah we both met frank last year during okay. the listening session of unlocked and reloaded and he really okay. is a great guy. I have to agree yeah. with you. <laughs> He's, I, I, um, well, uh, it, it's uh, one one of the one of the great things about about playing playing and uh, and uh, you know doing doing different projects and, and it, 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 I would say it's about music is the fact that it, it helps you finding people. Somebody's knocking at the door. Sorry. You <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon has arrived. So new <laughs> CDs. Good. <laughs> so we were talking about Frank. Frank, yeah. Well, that's the good thing about as I said, that's the good thing about music. Music allows you, it breaks barriers and allows you to meet people, which is um, one of the main things I mean into music. I like it's the fact that it's um, the reason why I teach. And my main job in teaching is a uh, teaching young band. So, and uh, I, I like that really much. I really like the fact that you can, that music kind of uh, puts you straight into connection. I mean, it's just like, it's just like we three, uh, we don't know each other, but we have mu like a music, which is a, a strong passion in common and that allows us immediately to connect and talk about something that we we are very into it and that one makes a difference and um there's a when you, it's hard to explain to somebody who's not into music because uh, uh music is something that it's more it's not just the, the fact of playing or singing it's about all, all that's you know around music is the fact that um, music helps you helps you connect with people, helps you makes you feel comfortable. That's what I'm I meaning. I was a when I was a kid, I was really shy, and music doesn't. Now I don't look now shy, but uh, music helped me really much because it it was the, a way to express myself. Well, well, you know, when I was a teenager, I wasn't. Well, I was not that, you know, uh, I, I felt difficult to, you know, to, to, to be able to speak to somebody or anything or to, to um, uh, build up a relation. Also, because I'm not a sport guy, so I don't play football. I don't, I, ne I was never into sports. And uh, so for me, music, so like even, well, you know, uh, a lot of friends that I know, I met them because I was going to the record store. And obviously, going to record store on Saturday would mean it would meant you go there at three o'clock to buy a record. You end up buying nothing, but you 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 know you stay there for five to three hours speaking to people about music. That and that was it. That was it. So there's a lot of people I I, I started knowing uh, because of music, because of going to the record store, and uh, you know and uh, discussing about should I buy this, should I buy that. And that one made the difference. That one made that one music made the difference. And it's the same thing about it. And this 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 kind of um, attitude that I have is the same that Frank has. Frank's meaning. If you met him, you, you know he's he's very open. He, he talks. Um, there's no. And he, he, he's very 
There's nothing you could. You, there's nothing he would not. He, he will ask. He will answer to everything. There's, there's no problem whatsoever. And he's not um, kind of uh, the kind of pers- person who wants to talk. He talks about just about himself. Uh, he, he, when it comes down to the band, he's um, he's very. Even though he's the leader, he's very open-minded. So and makes you feel comfortable. Makes you feel that you can you can you have a role and you can and you can express your creativity in the band. So that's great. Yeah. And as a band, you have to work together. And I like that you all, and the same thing as you all work together, you're writing the songs together. And that's cool. Yeah. It's, well, I would never explain it. Uh, sometimes I say that, you know, St. Etienne's, in a way, they saved my life during COVID because I, I was really, you know, with Tigers, everything was, there was no way to go to England. There was no meaning. After, still, by still now, now it's the 8th of, of December. I haven't met the guys in Tigers since uh, uh, the last time I saw them was on March 9th of 2020. So it's been almost, you know, two years a full, sorry, 2000, no, yeah, 2020, yeah, 2020, yeah, so it's been one year, it's going to be two years very shortly, and, and it's, it, uh, I used to, I used to go to England every month, I, you know, with Tigers, I, I used to pick, to jump on a train, uh, jump on a plane and go to England because there was a gig, there was a rehearsal, there was recording, and, uh, and all of a sudden this has this spirit, and, it, and it's, you know, obviously, even with Tigers, we are, we are now working, you know, there's going to be a new EP that's going to be released in January. And we, we have we have written a whole new album, which hopefully we're going to record next year. So obviously, just like we just like we said, we, 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 we didn't stop working, but we didn't the fact that we couldn't have a chance to meet. And, and we, we are with Tigers, we are a band that need that, that likes to you know um, that was was uh, used to play live a lot like we used to play live every you know every, at least every every two months there was there was some gigs going on so uh, we are missing that we really i'm really missing the guys and i'm really missing the the fact that we can you know again go on tour or jump to get and you know because that's that's um that's a good way to keeping a band together because uh the, the fact that we um, we can, uh, you know, get get together. The, the getting together for a band is very important. Is that it's um, otherwise otherwise uh, it's more like um, a project. It's like more like people who shares obviously who shares interests, who shares like passion for music and they and the ride together. But a band when it comes down and when it comes down to a band, you need to have that. You know, physical contact. You need to be, you know, in a room together. That's something that, and it's something that I miss because with Tigers we did it a lot in in uh, in uh, in the past, and um, uh, it, it was new for us to record, you know, to to write down new stuff without meeting each other. But again, you have to face it. Meaning, again, you can't stop. You can't stop the music. So if 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 you can't meet, we have to use technology just like we do now. So any works. So, but it's mentally, it's a bit different. Um, but you guys, I mean, by you guys, I mean the Tigers of Penteng now, uh, you released a Best Up album this year, right? Yeah. Yeah, we released, the, the, well, well the, the reason why we released the Best Album, the, the, you know, the Best Up album, Majors and Minors, was mainly because it was, it was, um, it was you know, our record label, Mighty Music, um, was very, very keen on doing that because we because we realized that we weren't able to tour, and then we have to face this the, the fact that Mickey was leaving and then Gal was leaving, so the bass player and guitar players were leaving. So even if we were able to tour, there was there would have been you know some some problems, and so the the, the greatest hits was the was a, like a natural choice, and uh, we try. I mean we. we what we try with the with the with the states is that, oh, uh, how can I say it? Being a record collector, I'm not very into greatest states uh, because if I like a band, I would buy the whole, or I will like buy the. If I like, it, I will buy the whole discography, or I will like to choose my own. You know, my my or or I will do my own. 
great estates. But in, 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 when, the, when it came down to Tigers and when it came down to the idea, uh, all of a sudden I realized that the, the, the Mighty Music was going to release a Great Estates that included just the albums that I was involved. So in a way, it was a Great Estates of Tiger songs with me singing, which I must say completely changed my perception because I said, wow, it's been 16 years I've been in a band and I'm worth you know, and the you know the the the, the hard work that that I, that I have done while I was in the band was worth a, a compilation. So so at that point, something complete clicked in my mind. I completely changed my attitude. And uh, together with Rob, we 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 worked really hard to make um, you know the right to, to choose the right selection of songs. And that's why and that's why uh, we also decided to include it's a, a couple of songs that were like um, like what you say and um plug me in, which were we were hard to find songs because they were only on the seven inch single and then uh, we we opted to do to to, to release uh, also and to include um, a complete different well complete a, co a different version of spoils the wall with a more like with an orchestra going uh, arrangement and we decided also to um and to include on the vinyl a live version of Keeping Me Alive because we wanted to give to, to offer like a, the the most I would say comprehensive uh, compilation of the album and we wanted also to give something special because again as a record collector I would buy a Greatest States only if there would be something that I would that, that it's hard to find. So and uh, so that's that's that when it comes down to these kind of these kind of tricky things that uh, you know uh, that makes me spend a lot of money. <laughs> and I learned from, and and you know and I'm talking about you know I'm talking about Kiss like like one of the the perfect band that you, if you if you want to have everything from Kiss you have to have you have to have a lot of money. And uh, but in this case, we, we want to say, okay, let, let's learn, let's learn from from the best one, from Kiss. But let's also offer something that's really that's really good and, uh, and that makes a good package. And uh, and that was it. So we, we we picked up a couple of songs that were hard to find. And I'm really proud of the record cover because the record cover uh, it was something it was something I, I me and uh, and the, the drummer Craig. I've been thinking of that we had different ideas and then all of a sudden we had the ideas of the eye and thank god we we work with a with a great with a great uh, artist which is uh, which is an italian who is an italian is called roberto toderico who's been doing our late uh, been doing the 2016 and the 2019 album covers and um and the, and the singles i guess yes also the singles and um so we we told him our idea of the Eye of the Tiger, and he came out with that image, which, especially on vinyl, is fantastic because you have you have that big eye, and um, every time I, you know, it's like hypnotizing because it, 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 you start watching, it's like oh, some of tiger is watching me, and um, so I'm. Any work meaning I'm, I'm again from not being very much into compilation now that it's there is one that it has involved me in, in um i'm happy i'm really happy i'm really proud and uh, i think it's a good if people don't know what what tigers have been doing in the last 16 years which is quite a lot it's uh it's a great it's, it's a good introduction to tigers and uh also because there's a lot of songs that we're going to play live so if people come to our shows they and they have that compilation they obviously we will play the old stuff but you know, we will definitely play songs that are in that new songs uh, or recent songs that are in that compilation. So it's it's good, but we will also play the classics. I want to say to the fans, we will play songs from Spellbound. We will play songs from Wildcat. We will play songs from Crazy Nights, which apparently is one of the favorite one of the favorites. Uh, you know, one of the favorite albums from a lot of fans. So we we do we we we, we do a nice mix of old stuff and new stuff. You also won the New Wave of British Heavy Metal Award this year. Yes, right? I don't have it. <laughs> we, oh, I wish I had it here. I would go, yes. No, but no. We, they gave us only one, and, and and Rob's has it. So, but and 
I don't know if it's if, if you know if <laughs> if the pandemic allows it, but I, I would suggest to have you know every six months, every every <laughs> one of the mem- every member should have it one, uh, at least one one time in their house so that can you know show it to people. Uh, yeah, it was great. It was great. It was fantastic. Uh, it was com- something completely unexpected, and uh, I'm really uh, uh, and I'm really honored, meaning uh, to be to, to that you know. It's it's the first ever prize um, uh, I ever received as member of a band, and to have it received with Tigers is it's like a dream come true. Meaning uh, it's you know being part of an iconic band uh, that's that, you know that meant a lot to a lot of people, and to have contributed in the last sixteen years to you know to have the band uh, to reestablish the name of the band in the market and to keep producing new stuff which is not which is not easy because because there's a lot of old band that just don't 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 record new music but that what that was something that rob was really 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 always really really uh clear he uh, and he, he always said that if, if the tigers are you know if we continue tigers we have to write new stuff obviously people will keep on remembering us for the old stuff but there's the there's no, there's no reason to be, you know, to 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 keep alive a band if the band doesn't, you know, write new stuff because it's crucial. It makes it, 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 it it's the reason why a band should, should, you know, should be playing. But you know, it should always write new stuff. So thank God to, to Rob, we we've been recording new stuff and um, and we have recorded new stuff. We have new, as I said, we have a new EP coming out in January with two brand new tracks with a new new lineup and everything. Which we're really we can't wait to, to hear the re, the reaction from the fans, and because they've been they're, they've been there for a lot of time, so we, we we we've been listening to them for a lot of time, and we want to have you know somebody else's <laughs> listening to it and give us you know show us their reaction, and um, and yes, that meaning uh, I, I got a phone call like three days before before the. Uh, the, 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 the winning of the award for A-Rob saying, look, I've been invited to go do Hard Rock, uh, Hard Rock L Awards and uh, we have been named in the category and uh, and uh, there's a good winning. He didn't knew, he didn't knew that we were going to win, but he said, we have a good, ch-. they said to me that we have a good chance. So I say, okay. And uh, that was Monday. And then on Wednesday night, he, I, I, got, I got a text message. We won, we won. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> unbelievable 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 i wasn't I, meaning again it's a set obviously we were all invited as a band and uh, and obviously only rob could go there because uh, do, again do it do it due to covid restriction i wasn't able to, to jump on it because I, I would i would jump immediately on a plane to go and you know to, to to feel that you know to get that like like you know to get to to leave that experience is like at, at the oscars you know and the nominees are uh, Tigers of Pantang, <laughs> Bodies, the Diamond Head, and there was another band, and then and the winner is Tigers of Pantang. I would have said something. <laughs> I would love to. I would love to have it to have that 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 to to, to live that moment. But again, but we have it. The award is there. We got yeah. it. So we won. I think they should have given an award to every member of the band, <laughs> so you don't have to exchange it every six months. No, just one. Uh, no no i know i know i'm I'm totally with you there should be meaning how many members five okay five awards no no just one Uh, (laughs) and obviously and obviously again it would have been funny if we the five of us would have been there and we had just an award i i i i I guess we're gonna we will have to you know we have to we we have to you know <laughs> there would be a challenge to see who was going to take it home first. But again, <laughs> this time around, Rob was lucky; he was the only one, so he got it. But uh, <laughs> and I, but, but I, I said to him when, I, when the, the first time I will come to England, I want to come. You should better take the award to the to the rehearsal so that we can make a proper a proper photo with the uh, the award and the, the the five of us saying saying here we are. It's uh, I can touch it. 
I love how excited you are about the award. That's so cool. Yeah. Well, well you mean I'm 53. I would never expect to win an award <laughs> with, with one of one of my one of my favorite bands when I was a teenager. It, it's like it's like it's like something that if you see in a movie, you don't believe it. Meaning it could be a movie, meaning I'm an Italian guy. Who was listening to Tigers when I was when he, when I was a teenager, and then way back in 2004, I got a call and I and and uh, and I joined the Tigers as a singer, being Italian. And after 16 years, I won my very I, you know Tigers win an award, and uh, it's my and and it's with me on and, and it's me, and I'm still the member. So it's like it, it's really it it, 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 it it it's like it's like a like a script of a you know a B movie music uh, b movie music movies it's like but it's great meaning it's 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 in a way it's the it's the the great thing about uh, the great thing about live you, you, you know when the where you have to you, when the unexpected become you know happens and uh, in 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 the positive way meaning uh it's it's uh, i don't want to go into too much you know phys- um uh, philosophical, but it's like the yin and the yang. So you ha- we have you have the pandemic, but and so and you have all the tra- hustle uh, in your private life. But then you, all of a sudden you we know uh, you 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 have this kind of uh, uh, good news that you, you would never expect. And um, uh, and I, I'm 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 the guy I'm the kind of, I'm the kind of guy. If there's something good, I you know I tend to I like to be enthusiastic about good things because they're so they don't happen. To, you know they don't happen too often, so when they when they happen, I tend to yes, I'm going to enjoy it. I don't care if it's if if, if maybe maybe I, maybe it's it, it would look too much, but I, I you know there's so many there's so many things that sometimes don't go don't go right in, the, in life that when something goes right, uh, I grab it. So that's it. Yeah, definitely agree with you there. So. For everyone who's watching this and who wants to stay updated with what you have going on with your different bands you're playing and what's the best way to stay up to date with everything you have going on with the new Tigers of Penting EP and what's going on with Sainted Sinners and everything you're doing? Well, um, okay, uh, it's it's not, um, it's sometimes people are, uh, a bit concerned, and they asked me, "How can you deal? How can you do it?" Um, uh, I have to be honest. Uh, for me, for me, it's always been easy to program things, and uh, and um, and um, in all the projects that I've been involved, and all the bands that I'm in, because I'm uh, and um, in the, Every band shows a little. I would say every in every band there's a little bit of me. Okay, so that's so it's not. I don't. I don't. It's not that I don't. I feel more comfortable in one band and then in another because every band. Every every each band I play with allows me allows me to express a part of myself, and I always and that's one of the main thing about about my about me that I understood is that. If I don't feel comfortable, um, I leave. It's I, because I have to feel comfortable. I have to be. I have to feel free to be myself in in whatever project I'm in, I'm involved. Even if I'm, you know, if I sing in a tribute band and I sing in a Led Zeppelin tribute band, but still, uh, um, I I need to feel comfortable and I need to and I need to be free to express myself. So that's it. And so and um, and um. I have to say, I, I, I've been lucky enough to find the, the meaning uh, with ups, ups and downs, like in every family. But I, I've been lucky enough to find the right, the right people to to write song with and to to be in the band. So that makes me comfortable. And uh, it's it's not it, it's a bit hard to to follow all the things I do. And sometimes I'm the most, you know, I'm some I'm surprised that I've been able to do so many things. But at the same time, I'm I'm. I'm that's what I want. It's 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 my it's the it's my life, and it's uh, and I'm I, I I'm I'm really 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 lucky that my main passion has become my my job, and when I say job, I say with a 
I, 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 I use the word job uh, and I'm proud to say that I'm a full-time musician because I know it's not easy and I know it's not, it, it's not, um, it, it's not, uh, there's a lot of people who has to have, you know, in order to follow their, their passion music has to do another job. And so I'm lucky and, uh, and, I, and I'm very, very aware of that. And um, so, and, and um, the other thing is that I like program. I, li I like to program my life. I don't. I don't. I don't. I feel comfortable in you know scheduling everything. Uh, it's, it's part of my character and my part of my personality. And I like to you know have everything, as you can say, the, the, the whole. This is all you know. There's a, there's a, there's a everything. I know exactly where every single CD is, uh, is and so that, that's it. So it's, it's part of my of my of my character, and. Um, and I'm, I'm 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 able I'm able to do it. I, I, I'm lucky enough to have to have people who are also to the people that I, I play with and I work with and, I, and, I, and I'm friends with. They they can accept it. They understood that's part of my um, uh, 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 that that, that uh, I'm not that, uh, that it's part of me. It's, it's the way I am that allows me to do different projects, and that there is there's nowhere. And and then I'm not that, and I'm, I'm not the kind of person who who says you know you know who who are put you know bands in a different le uh, uh, you know, different levels. You mean they're all important. They're all part of life, and um, and and they they all have and there's there for me there's always there, there's a reason why I play with that band, and that's it, and um, that's how I do it, and um, thank God we have technology. So. If you want to, if you're interested in what I'm doing, there's Facebook and Instagram, which I try to keep updated. I try because I do everything by myself. I don't have a secretary. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that rich enough to have somebody taking care of my, of my, of my Instagram and whatever. And, uh, and that's it. And, um, and that's, that, 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 that's, that's what happens. But today I'm, 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 I'm doing an interview with you tomorrow and, uh, Friday and Saturday, I'll be in Rome record, um, gigging with a Let's Have Tribute band, and then I'll be on Sunday. I'll be back. I'll, I'll be back in Florence, and I'll be and I'll be attending a concert of two of my student bands. So I'll be I'll be I'll be the fan. I'll be you know in the audience, it's, uh, watching my students playing uh, and uh, hoping they don't do. They play well. <laughs> they don't do too many mistakes uh, because, and that's it. And then uh, and next week uh, again, it's 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 like this. And um, and I'm no matter what happens in the world, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy. I wouldn't expect that. I, it's like um, I wouldn't to to have such a such a rich life in terms of. Um, study you know in terms of passion satisfaction in what i do like i do now right? uh, which is uh which is a great thing and that's why i'm enthusiastic about the uh, the award it's, it seems like at last every sometimes you know sometimes life go in the right direction yeah sometimes <laughs> <laughs> So, Jack, we've already been talking for an hour and we don't want to steal too much of your time. <laughs> thank you. So, well, well, thank you for inviting me. It's been a pleasure. And um, let me know when this is going to be online. Uh, it's going to be, uh, are you going to, when you're going to play, put it online and everything. So I'll, I'll make sure that the Tigers of Pantang and St. Tetsinas will, you know, website will promote it the right awesome. way. So just, yeah, give me the, sure. yeah, just give me the link and everything. Keep, we'll keep in touch on on messenger just send me everything all the details of when it's going to come out and uh, i'll do my best to to, <laughs> to promote it and thank you and I, yes, thank, thank you. you for taking the time to talk to us thank you thank you for calling I meaning it's it's uh it was a pleasure to talk about you know and uh, it, it's a, it's for me it's fantastic to see you know to see two young rockers so enthusiastic and so so into music and that it means that you know the the new generation is come is is you know it's uh ready and willing and strong enough to you know to keep to keep to keep the rock and roll going and to keep as saint Cecilia would say the essence of rock and roll going because that's that's what it's all about really. great stuff thank you well thank you and have a great day bye bye
Bye. Bye. <laughs>